Boeing and the US Air Force. Yusufov completed the maiden flight of the first T-7 in a Red Hawk. This moment marks the start of the engineering and manufacturing development phase. The T-7 Red Hawk is an advanced aviator training system designed and manufactured through the Saab Boeing partnership for the US Air Force. It will train the next generation of fighter and bomber aviators. The jet was digitally designed using advanced digital modeling and manufacturing techniques. The Red Hawk marks the first time the USAF has developed an aircraft using digital design, taking the process from computer to first flight in 36 months. The T-7 is assembled at Boeing St. Louis, Missouri site. The rear section of the aircraft is produced by Swedish partner Saab and digitally joined along the production line. The aircraft features one General Electric, 404 G1, tree after burning turbofan engine, 11,000 LBF thrust dry, 17,000 LBF with afterburner. This first has seven a Red Hawk, produced as part of the engineering and manufacturing development phase of the program, is scheduled to undergo ground and taxi tests before its first flight. Eventually, the T-7R will replace the fleet of T-38T Talons that have been used by the Air Education and Training Command. The Boeing SAD T-7 Red Hawk, originally known as the Boeing TX later, changed to the Boeing SAB TX, is an American or Swedish advanced supersonic jet trainer aircraft produced by Boeing and SAAB. On 27 September 2018, the US Air Force opted for the TX program to replace the Northrop T-38 Talon. The T-7 went from mature concept to flight testing within 36 months. The combination of model-based engineering, 3D design and advanced manufacturing improved first-time quality by 75 and reduced assembly hours by 80. In 2080, the USEF awarded Boeing a $9.02 billion contract for 351 T-7 aircraft, 46 simulators and support. The T-7 is the proposed variant for the US Navy's tactical replacement aircraft program with a possible sale of 64 aircraft. The aircraft's stable performance and advanced cockpit and systems are a game changer for its Air Force student pilots and instructors. We've come a long way in training since my family role models flew, said Turner, whose grandfather and father were US Air Force fighter pilots. This is an exciting time for the whole team. The Red Hawk's digital design integrating advanced training capabilities will drastically improve pilot training for the next generation of fighter and bomber pilots, said Colonel Kurt Castle, the US Air Force's T-7 Red Hawk program manager. 